Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Rish here, and welcome back to the video here on some more Black Ops Cold War Season 3, guys. We are finally here in Season 3 of Black Ops Cold War. It is currently 9 p.m. Pacific time here where I live. As you guys can see, it is dark outside, and we are staying up just to make a quick little video on the updated Battle Pass, everything that's in the Battle Pass, and a ongoing gameplay on that new Swiss K31 and the PPSH, or as I call it, the PPS. So now we are going to go into the Battle Pass, and we are going to purchase it for the first time. Welcome to a battle pass how does it work we all know how a battle pass works guys basically it's just a hundred um tiers of content that you guys get of rewards for just playing the game that's literally it as in that in a nutshell they didn't need all this oh my god they got a reactive ppsh blueprint all right now without further ado let's buy the base of battle pass let's go baby purchasing oh my god oh dude the animations always look so good all right, we got our we got our instant reward, guys. There we go. So we got the disruptor skin for the wraith. This skin looks absolutely amazing. Definitely gonna run that. We got the stinger for Sergeant Woods. Yep, I'm correct. Uh, we got a watch. We got the XP boost. Obviously, we're gonna obviously need that to make it to tier 15, where the PPSH is, which we will currently get to soon. We got a double weapon XP token. We obviously need these for the new stuff that's going to be coming out later on this evening, which I am going to be covering here on the channel, by the way. So if you guys haven't already, make sure you guys smash the subscribe button, turn those post notifications on, so you guys never miss a video. Here on the channel, we upload Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War Warzone, Call of Duty World War II Vanguard, just anything Call of Duty related. We cover it here on the channel, whether it's leaks, rumors, or news. We got a new AUG variant, which I feel. Feel like more people are gonna be using this in cold war than they are in warzone with the aug being nerfed and everything we got 100 cod points that's definitely a big help for people that are trying to get free battle pass next season which i'm one of those people we got a double weapon or we got a double xp token at tier 7 we got a derby racer uh variant for real people that like to play fire team dirty bomb we also got a derby racer truck we got some more cod points at tier 12 we got another double weapon xp token and right here guys the money maker what i've been waiting for ever since it got leaked within the new season the ppsh guys if i'm not mistaken this gun actually holds 80 rounds it is a submachine gun from world war ii's era and this gun in every cod game that it is out is absolutely crazy guys we got a new emo which i'm finally i'm glad that they're actually bringing these into the battle pass now we got a little snap Oh god, the gun's so still. Look at that, guys. It's not even moving. But yeah, we got a little snap. Yeah, we got some more COD points at tier 17. New AK-74U. I kind of don't like how the battle pass, they don't give us too many good uh, blueprints. This one is literally just a camo AK-74U. We all know that I'm not really going to be using this, guys. Let's be honest. We got the double tap execution, so let's check that out right here, right now. Oh! Well, I need to play that back. Dude just got shot in the liver and then the head. All right, up next we got the park battle tested. Now a lot of people that like park might like this actually, so I gotta show this. We got a free, we got a free Joker type uh, clown XM4 bundle, which actually looks really cool. I might actually end up using this if I make an XM4 video. They did a really good job on this one. This one just kind of gives me those Joker type vibes. We got a 45 minute double XP token, 100 card points for tier 23. We got another free QBZ. Uh, it says Damascus, but um, okay. So basically, what I'm seeing here is that all those players that played Modern Warfare grinding for Damascus basically could have just bought a Damascus QBZ. Nice. Good to know that uh, they're gonna release two guns that look like Damascus. That one FAL back in Modern Warfare, and now the QBZ with the Damascus steel on it. Up next, we got a 30, 30 minute double weapon XP token. I, I have to cover these double weapon XP tokens and double XP tokens, guys, because we gotta tally how much time of XP you guys actually get. So you guys know that you guys are getting your money's worth with the new battle pass if you guys are deciding if you should buy it or not. We got the Trench Fighter motorcycle for Fireteam Dirty Bomb, and we also got the Trench Fighter ATV. We got another free variant for the shotgun. This one actually looks pretty cool. Props, I, I really like this. I like how they're actually giving us stuff that we are going to actually have a chance of using in game. We got a double XP token for 15 minutes. No big deal. You can get that from a free bundle. And here is the second DLC weapon of the battle pass, guys. The Swiss K31. This is basically the car 98 in uh, Modern Warfare, but it actually has a bigger bullet. Uh, now, yes, they do look very similar, guys, but according to my friend, they are actually very different. This one has a bigger bullet, and it's supposed to hit harder, but from what I've seen, it's just like another Pellington. But yeah, 
Car 98 and Cold War, bolt action sniper rifle, improved accuracy with low recoil and fast rechamber and aiming speed. So this is probably going to be one of the fastest quick scoping sniper rifles in the game. Thankfully, they actually released a sniper rifle that's meant for quick scoping. You guys remember that uh, ZRG video that I made? We got 100 COD points in 32. Uh, tier 32. We're gonna skip forward here. Tier 36, another double weapon XP token. God, they're going off with this type of stuff. We got the rock on uh, emote that they have for free at tier 37. So let's check that out real quick. Rock on, okay. Well, oh. Okay, well, the animations are very uh, choppy, but I mean, I'll take a new DMR. This looks really cool, actually. If the DMR was still good in Warzone, I would probably actually use this variant. More cars, the Afterburn for, I don't even know what that's called. I'm just going to call it a truck. And then we got the Afterburn for another truck. Nice. Oh, there you go. 100 cop points at tier 41. We have a Black Ops 3 mixtape. Oh, let's, let's do this. Let's do this. Ready? Ready, guys? All right. Oh, I hear it revving up. I hear it coming. Oh. Oh, I re I recognize this. Never mind. Okay, we got ignition. Oh, dude. I've been playing so much Black Ops 3 recently, too, guys. So this brings back, like... Oh, my God, yes. Damned 3. Dude, zombies in Black Ops 3 was incredible. And the final one, Filter. Dude, Black Ops 3 just had some of the most chill music, and it's still a good soundtrack. We got a new Krieg variant. Looks pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. They're actually starting to step up with the battle pass a little bit. 15 minutes of double weapon XP at tier 46. COD points at tier 48. Another skin, the Stronghold skin. Okay, okay, not bad, not bad. I see you guys. Absolute terrible M16 variant. A double weapon, double XP token at tier 53. Ooh, this, this, okay, never mind. That's actually very underwhelming. I was kind of looking forward to that. It kind of looked like the uh, exclusion, exclusion zone from World War II Remastered, but, or from Modern Warfare 2 Remastered, but uh, that's kind of. Tier 56, more COD points. Double weapon XP, one hour at 57, tier 57. We got another um, spaz blueprint. Wow, they're actually doing pretty good with these blueprints so far. I'm impressed. Like, I can see myself actually kind of using these. We got a, a bullfrog blueprint. Not bad, not bad. That's kind of like a nuclear blueprint. That's not bad. I mean, for people that don't have a bullfrog blueprint, that can actually be pretty good. Tier 66, more COD points. Tier 68, we got double weapon XP token, 30 minutes. Got an AK-47. It's an alien type vibe. I actually really like this. I would probably use this and I probably will, honestly. We got an hour of double XP for tier 73. 74, following that, we got some more COD points. Damn, they are going off of this. From the looks of it, they put a Mastercraft of the MP5 in the battle pass. What? Dude, Trick, what are you guys taking over there? You guys put a Mastercraft for the MP5 in the battle pass? I mean, I'm not complaining, but you guys never do stuff like this. What? I mean, on the downside, they did put some pretty trash attachments on it. But still, this looks really freaking cool. Tier 78, double weapon XP token. 100 COD points at tier 82. Tier 83, we got double XP token for 15 minutes. We got an exclusion zone type FFAR. This is actually isn't that bad. Uh, if you guys like uh, Modern Warfare 2 Remastered Mastery Camo, some people might actually use this. Uh, tier 87, we got a double weapon XP token. At tier 91, we have some more COD points. And we got the reactive PPSH, guys. We got base. Oh, we got six. We got nine. Oh, dude, this PPSH. I can't wait to get my hands on it. I'm going to be grinding for this PPSH, guys. Let's just hope that this PPSH is actually as good as it was back in Black Ops 3 and World War. We got a double XP token at tier 96. Your final amount of COD points at tier 98, which should top you off with enough to buy the next following battle pass. We got the White Queen skin for Wraith. We got a new K, uh, a Swiss K31 variant with tier 100. That actually looks really cool. A lot of snipers are going to be buying to max tier 100% because of this. We got a truck variant. And we also got a Bertha variant for Warzone. And we get this final season 3 banner or emblem. So yeah, guys, that is the Season 3 Overlook for Black Ops Cold War. If you guys did enjoy this Overlook, please smash the subscribe button.
smash that like button. It helps get on the recommended a lot more if you guys want to support this channel. We are so close to 700 subscribers at the time that I'm recording this after today's Warzone event. We are at 695 subscribers. So if you guys can help be our 700, one of our 700 subs, that would be greatly appreciated. We are on the road to 1,000, so any support is appreciated. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video and looking at my Season 3 overlook when you could have been watching anyone else's. And yeah, guys, uh, tune in soon for that new PPSH gameplay and that Swiss K31. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video, and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Later, guys.